Hi, everybody. Charles Hoskinson here, live from warm, sunny Colorado to talk to you guys about stick pools and Volt and Shelly and where we're going from here. So we're working on Gogan and we're working on Voltaire, but we're still working on Shelly and we're also working on Basho. Uh, as I mentioned before, the roadmap is actually parallel. So uh, instead of it being linear where we do Byron, then we do Shelly, then we do Gogan, then we do Basho, then we do Voltaire. Uh, we launched Shelly, but there's a Shelly team that still does Shelly stuff at the same time as a Gogan team doing Gogan stuff. So we're just at the beginning of staking and stake pool operation and all of this stuff, and there's a lot to do. So August was all about just getting everything solid and stable and getting reasonable performance. And uh, we've achieved that. We achieved that with the 1.19 release. Uh, we did a lot of updates to Daedalus. We did a whole bunch of stuff in the wallet backend. And uh, all of August was consumed just doing that stuff. And there was a few releases and for the most part, mission accomplished. So liquidity has been mostly restored with the exception of Bittrex. Uh, Uroi is now where it needs to be. Uh, uh, Sebastian has crazy hair because of all the work that he's had to do. Uh, and it was a tough month for a lot of people, but we got through it. Now, when we look to September and beyond, uh, there's a few different threads that are coming. Uh, one of them is uh, this concept of partial delegation. I call it one-to-many delegation. So instead of saying, hey, you have to atomically delegate your entire wallet, you can go one to N pools. And then this will enable uh, some new ideas. For example, things like delegation portfolios. So you can choose a collection of pools and ratios to each pool, and then you can share that and import those lists. Uh, Smash is another concept that's been under development very heavily. And Smash is just our view of how uh, metadata should be handled for stake pools. But eventually, Smash is going to evolve to be uh, user-driven. And what I mean by that is that you, the user of Daedalus can choose different Smash servers that have been uh, basically parameterized by different people. So there's the IOG default, and that's the first generation of the Smash server, but the foundation can run one, Emergo can run one, other people in the community can as well. And then we'll create an option in Daedalus to basically allow people to do that. Uh, the presentation of stake pools you know, this is another interesting thing. So right now we present them and uh, we're finally going to get that whole non-myopic thing and proper ranking in and so forth very soon. Uh, that's a big priority for September. That's just one way of presenting them. You can present them via different parameters and actually you can even present groups. Like when this portfolio idea comes in, instead of showing individual pools, you could do a portfolio view and then you just click on some collection of pools to delegate to. And there's different ways of ranking that and so forth. So there are a lot of conversations about presentation, and this is a big UI UX thing, and this is actually a big science thing as well about stakeable preferences. So more than one Smash will come because Smash is being turned into a plugin for our DB sync. And once that's been done, it's possible for the community to reuse that architecture to instantiate their own Smashes. And then we can make those user downloadable. Portfolios will also be user generated and user downloadable. And uh, you can import them into Daedalus and we'll create a format for that. And uh, we're going to think a lot about different presentations and you're going to see a lot of experiments on different presentations. And we even have a dedicated UX UI guy whose job is to think about this. His name's Mike and he's quite good. And he only recently came on board. So the current presentation, don't fall in love with it. There's going to be options and different ways of doing things. We hear you. We see you. You know, there's only so much we can do in a short period of time, and there's a lot to do to get there. Uh, one to many delegation. Now, I just got the proposal from Vacuum Labs uh, for the uh, update for Ledger and Trezor, and uh, they're going to do one to many delegation on Ledger and Trezor. That's actually quite straightforward for them to do. But then we're also going to see if we can do pledging. And I've actually been in talking to Agalos about a concept of proxy KES, KES proxy keys. 
And so the idea here is that we'd like to have a stake pool operator have two environments, a hot environment, and that's what they run on Amazon or in their bare metal server, and a cold environment. And that's what contains all the private keys and the money. And that is uh, where people are delegating their rights to. So basically, uh, when you delegate to those certificates and everything, all the things that uh, give the pool the right to make stuff and win should live in the cold side. And then what the cold side will do is it will create some transactions that will give the hot side the right to operate on behalf of the cold side. Okay, so this is kind of the best of both worlds because you can optimize the hot side for cost and have it a really nice environment. But if that environment ever gets compromised, what you can do is you can generate new transactions to a new hot environment and, and you don't lose your money. And we'd like this cold environment to be trusted hardware like ledgers, trezors, or potential even to plug on SGX or things like that. So we're actually exploring all of these ideas on uh, how to do that. And um, this is part of the relationship with Vacuum. So they're going to very least give us pledging and one-to-many uh, delegation. And we're also going to have the Hardware Wallet Center coming in Daedalus. So uh, you'll be able to delegate from your Ledger or Trezor device with Daedalus, just like you can with Ada Light and, and um, Uroi. So all those features are coming. But we care a lot about the operating environment for the stake pool operator and really really think a two-layer model, a two-module two model makes a lot of sense where you have trusted, dedicated hardware that is cold, offline, air-gapped. Those keys never touch the internet. People delegate to the credentials from that system. And then that system allows you to generate transactions, which enable an operating environment, which lives in the cloud or on a bare metal server, uh, to be able to do all the work. And so there's some things we have to think about, like proxy keys and so forth, to fully enable this experience. But Vacuum's a partner in that respect, and uh, they're going to work very closely with us. And we'll keep updating Ledger and Trezor until eventually we get to that cold, hot environment for you SPOs because we care a lot about your security and your safety. Another thing that I'm really keen to do is multi-sig pledging. Okay, so basically multi-sig pledging is where uh, you have uh, smaller pools come together and they pool their capital together, and uh, then they use that for a unified pledge. So we have a situation where some people, no matter how favorable the protocol gets with parameters, are just really not, they don't have enough capital quite yet to be able to be competitive so instead of complaining about it, let's let them work together and then be able to work something out where they can collectively pledge. And that collective pledge can count as one pool. And then they can split up the profits uh, by whatever scheme that they want. So we're going to explore multi-stick pledging. We're going to explore CAS proxies. There's a lot of things to think about uh, that are coming on the horizon. Not necessarily in September. This is September and beyond. But when we say that the Shelly threat is continuing, uh, this is what we mean. Uh, two other things. There are the parameters, K and A0 and D. And D just keeps decrementing. Um, we're almost at 7.7, and it's just going to keep falling. That's going to happen. It's kind of autopilot at this point. Everything is looking good. The protocol is moving the right direction. K and A0 are deeply connected to each other. And I'll tell you, we had a big meeting yesterday, and there's a, a strong urge within the science side of the organization to increase K dramatically. So there's a lot of modeling that's going on right now, but I think that's going to come in the, in the coming months uh, sooner, uh, hopefully, rather than later. And there's a lot of discussion about the relationship with A0 in that respect. I think it would be counterproductive to massively increase K until we have one to many delegation uh, ready to go. And we also have this portfolio idea ready to go because when you have many more pools, if it's still an atomic choice, you'll have a Pareto principle situation occur. So these are kind of interconnected to each other, but there's a huge, huge discussion about getting this to the next level. And I think many operators will be quite happy about that. So this is the environment. And then this is the presentation of staking. You know, this is the metadata and so forth. And there's also a ranking conversation that exists here. And 
there is one notion of ranking, but there can be other notions of ranking. And at some point, these should be user driven because there's a lot of ideas floating around uh, and uh, a lot of work to do on Daedalus itself. I will sign the Vacuum Labs contract probably this week. It's a direct IO Global Vacuum Labs engagement. The prior one was with the foundation. We wanted to speed it up and not have to go through two months of arguing and tendering and so forth. So I said, fuck it, I'll just pay for it, even though it's quite expensive, but that's okay. This is what we do for the ecosystem. And um, I think it's gonna really uh, add a lot of value in the month of September. And of course, we'll talk a lot with the operators about getting this hot, cold environment. Uh, and I think that'll maximize their security and then allow them to really optimize their hot environment so they can provide lots of services. And this cold environment is reusable. So right now it's just for staking, but when oracles come, hydro channels come, and other components come, uh, this model can still be used. So that means that as all those components come, they'll have that same security characteristic, uh, which is quite advantageous. Um, uh, so uh, the parameters, of course, will long-term be controlled by Voltaire, and uh, September is really the first month that Voltaire is waking up for everybody in the system. And there's an enormous amount of work occurring. I just signed a budget approval to increase the budget by $600,000 uh, specifically for Voltaire so we can accelerate a few things to make Voltaire get out to market even faster. Uh, but, you know, again, I, I will always do things where and when I can to accelerate things if it makes sense. It's not a matter of resource allocations because usually you can't just throw more developers on something, but wherever you can and you can speed things up, I do, which is why we're using vacuum. It's why we're using, uh, why I signed the budget augmentation for um, Voltaire. And I have some other things that are coming down the pipe that I'll probably add more resources to as well. I'm very keen to get these things done. And Shelly is a big deal and staking matters a lot to everybody. Our scientists are super excited and super happy that they're getting real data. They're working very closely with Colin Edwards, our quant, and he's been doing a lot of number crunching and we're just starting to dip into the business of staking. We've also been talking to Bison Trails and other organizations about staking as a service for exchanges. Uh, and uh, my preference would be to have a staking dashboard similar to the Daedalus presentation on exchanges. And so instead of having the exchange run the pools, be in control of your ADA, even though uh, they have custody of it, you can still use the dashboard to reflect your stake preferences. Uh, so I think it's the best of all worlds because exchanges can still get a slight fee or revenue stream for being the middleman in that process, but they actually don't make decisions about who gets to make blocks. Instead, you, the owner, would still be able to do that. So we're having a lot of conversations about how would we build something like that. And uh, right now, we're uh, seeing if we can bundle that into the work that we're doing with Rosetta, which is the Coinbase work line. We've been working really hard on Rosetta in integration, and it would be cool to add a staking layer to that integration as well. So uh, can't really report too much on that at the moment, uh, but that's definitely something that Alex, Matias, and other people like Jerry Fragascatos uh, in the organization are thinking about very deeply. Uh, and it's super important to me because it increases the level of decentralization and it increases the level of control that users have even when their stake exists in a custodial account. So under the hood, lots of stuff is going on with Shelley. Environmental improvements for stake pool operators, a lot of parallelization of work streams. We're thinking about new concepts like proxy keys for KES multi-sig pledge. Uh, we're certainly bringing out one-to-many delegation. That uh, partial delegation is a big deal, and we really want to get that done. Stake pool portfolios are a concept I believe in very, very, very uh, deeply, and I think that it is an uh, absolute requirement for helping the little guy in mission-oriented pools because they can get bundled in with ROI, and then people make decisions based on a group instead of an individual creates cooperative instead of competitive equilibria for people. And obviously presentation means a lot too. And there's a lot of UI UX things to think about. And yes, we are having tons of discussions about system level parameters. You have to wait a few epochs for the system to stabilize before you have those conversations because you need meaningful data. And we've had enough epochs that we're now in a position where we feel that uh, we could actually start making some meaningful changes. And we are. So those will be announced soon. 
So this is just a Shelly specific update. There's a lot of Gogan stuff going on that I didn't mention because that's Gogan, and that's for a slightly different time. And we'll talk a lot about Gogan at the end of the month. And Roman is directly involved in work assignments at this point. So he's acting both as a director of engineering and a CTO. And uh, his primary focus at the moment is Gogan related. Uh, and there's just a, just so much stuff happening there that's uh, it's mind boggling to see how fast and how much depth is occurring, but that's okay. We're getting it done. Uh, and as I mentioned, I just added an extra 600,000 into the budget of uh, Voltaire to accelerate a few things. And we brought in some other external firms to speed up some things so that we can guarantee delivery of our schedule of Voltaire and de-risk um, some of the experiential improvements. Um, so uh, going to be a busy month, lots of announcements, lots of things to do. I personally am working with the marketing director about product marketing, as I've mentioned, and we're going to do a lot of comparison marketing. Marketing. We're going to do a lot of explanations of why is Plutus better and extended UTXO better and these types of things. And of course, our staking model will be very clearly articulated and explained as well. Um, I'm personally taking a hand on the DeFi side of things as well, and we're working very closely with marketing and um, product research to try to lay out a very beautiful competitive DeFi portfolio. We already have a beautiful stable coin idea uh, and uh, we're executing that looks like in partnership with Emergo and we're going to keep going down the list, Oracles, DEXs and these other things. I don't like to lose and I don't want to lose. I want to win because winning means that we bring a billion people and to the system and give them an economic identity. And that system will carry the principles that I think are necessary to avoid a bad future. Uh, so uh, I'd like to win this one. And if winning means mass adoption and lots of dApps and DeFi, let's get it done. Pick up a shovel and get it done. Anyway, uh, just a brief update. I hope this is helpful for everybody. Uh, whenever I can make them, I'll send them your way. Y'all take care now. Talk to you soon.